Hey guys, it's Sarah. Please excuse this. I mean, it actually looks kind of cool, but I don't even know what it is. But anyway, I made this mug on Photobox and I just got it today. It is a Larry mug. <laughs> happening in the past week. It's rumored that One Direction signed another five-year contract with Modest, which is clearly a dumb decision because we all know how Modest works. Like, why would you want to sign with a management company who deletes people's Twitters for voicing their opinions, closets people, and just is the saddest excuse for a management company? Listen, One Direction really need to find some better representation for themselves. Like, when you're in the business world, you can't be forced to stay with any company, but I think that they could have been persuaded or brainwashed to. And what I mean by pressure to stay with this management company is that I think Modest almost kind of guaranteed success for this band after a break because One Direction were probably worried that once they came back from break you know people might not remember them or they might not be as popular and their management was like hey you know if you stay with us Modest Management or this record label we guarantee that you will have just as much success as you had before the break and that probably made the gears turn and made them think like hey why don't we just stay with this company because we'll have the same success when we come back. So Sadly, I think maybe Modest scared One Direction into staying with them. Because guys, how business works is that everything is all about consent. Like when you work with business people, you have to agree to things up front. You can't do anything behind anybody's back. You're, you're there with them face to face. You have to consent to some agreement form like up front. Okay, and everyone probably knows this by now, but after the little Larry Cupcake date the other day, we saw Louie at the airport in Atlanta with Danielle and Ollie. But I could really care less because Louie had this guitar case and it really looked like Harry's guitar case. Guys, if you've been in the fandom long enough, you know that whenever we get something Larry related, something shitty happens right afterwards. So I'm really not surprised. People are saying like, oh, you Larry shippers exaggerate everything. The reason why Louis didn't look happy at the airport is probably because of jet lag. I'm not going to say you're wrong because jet lag can make people pretty tired and look maybe bored or something. So you're not wrong. I'm pretty sure jet lag had to do with the way Louis's face looked. But I will say that if if you look at pictures of Harry and Louie at the airport from the past and just anywhere Louie is with Harry, Louie actually looks pretty content, pretty happy. He doesn't look bored, sad, mad, tired. So maybe it's not Louie's environment that's making him look sad or bored. Maybe it's the person he's with. Newsflash, the fact that he's not with Harry and the fact that he's with Danielle, that's why Louis looks like that because we've all seen pictures of Louis in the past with Harry at the airport and he had a huge smile on his face and he probably had jet lag at the same time. How do we know that Louis is in Atlanta literally within 10 minutes of his arrival at the airport, but we didn't know Liam arrived in LA when there's so many paps there? LA is usually the place where most paps hang around and we didn't know Liam was in LA until two to three days after. The whole thing pretty much flashes the words PR stunt. But guys, this happens all the time. Like if Liam and Niall do something, we don't know about it until like a week after and no one cares. Like there just happens to be no paps there, but Louie and Harry could do something with people and then we'll know literally like 10 minutes into it and there'll be so many paps there. It's total PR stunt. But guys, Louie always wears things of Harry's when he's with his beard, like the jacket, the guitar, beanies, shirts, which is pretty cute because when he's hanging around with these girls, he's like, I still have a part of Harry on me. <laughs> you know, it's funny because Danielle was looking right at the camera anyway. She was like, hey, look at me. I better be getting paid for this. Also guys, Danielle Danielle's birthday is on January 30th and Harry's birthday is on February 1st, so I'm kind of wondering, who is Louie gonna spend time with? Like, whose birthday is he going to celebrate? I really hope it's Harry's birthday. I mean, I don't care if he celebrates with Danielle on the 30th, but he better be celebrating with Harry on February 1st. And guys, if you're still having doubts about Larry and thinking that this stunt stuff is real, here's what I'll tell you. Isn't it weird that during years of Sophia, Liam and Sophia, we didn't get as many photos of Liam and Sophia as we did with Lunel, Louis and Danielle. Like basically, we've got more pictures of Louis and Danielle in just one month than we ever did of Liam and Sophia in like years. And that speaks volumes. Same with Zayn and Perry. Like Zayn and Perry and like Liam and Sophia, Liam and Danielle, those are real relationships. And you can tell because they weren't publicized as much. Like a real relationship is supposed to be like not in flashing lights. So the fact that those relationships were more on the down low, but whenever Louis and Harry get with a girl, it's like in flashing lights. You can just tell which is real and which is not. 
And this is why I also think Larry's real, because Larry is now more on the down low. They probably do a lot of things in their private time, just like Liam and Sophia did. And that's actually the way a relationship is supposed to be. I think Harry and Louis are like, you know, maybe we don't need to come out now, because why can't we keep one thing private in our lives? Louis and Harry's whole life is publicized. Maybe they just want to keep one thing private, which is totally fine. Makes the relationship more special. I just want an interviewer to ask Louis, if you and Brianna are supposedly having this kid together, why are you with Danielle now? Like I know it's 2016, people like impregnate somebody, but they're actually not in love with them. And then there was someone else. It's like this whole mess. But do you really think that Louis wants to be in like a polyamorous relationship when his life is already busy enough? I think that's way too much mess, way too much responsibility. And I don't think that's what he wants. Like it doesn't make sense for Louis to to like break up with Eleanor literally like months later knock up someone he's not even in love with and then go after another girl named Danielle while the pregnancy rumors are still going around like they're basically making him look like a player and in reality he probably just has one boyfriend the media is basically making it seem like gay is a worse rumor than being a player which is disgusting and it's just proof that none of this really makes sense and I hope it will be cleared up by March there was an article on unreality TV saying that Harry has gotten a private vocal coach. It says he's hired the same one Adele used to help him for his solo career. I mean, this could just be a rumor because I, like, as I said, I don't think Harry is going solo. He's mentioned many, many times that he would stay in this band for 10 years or more. If he got a vocal coach to help him with his vocals over the break, that is perfectly fine. That is actually very beneficial. But if he got a vocal coach to go solo, no. But then again, this article was from the source Unreality TV, and just from the name, you can maybe tell that it's all as they say, unreality, meaning false information. But according to locations, Liam and Niall are in LA, Louis in Atlanta, and Harry's in London. I just find it really weird that when Louis in London and we know Harry's coming to London, Louis automatically leaves London and goes somewhere else. So Louis and Harry can never stay in the same country together, which makes me so mad. I bet once Louis comes back to London, Harry will be going to LA. I'm just happy we got that cupcake date. Now, I'm not sure if this is true, but we have this account called Exposed modest and it's this Twitter account that is filling us in on Larry proofs and Larry's secrets and stuff about modest like they claim to know all of this stuff like this behind-the-scenes stuff but why should we trust them we get these kind of accounts all the time so I'll leave a link to their page down below if you're still interested so that's pretty much it that's been going on if you guys have anything more to fill me in on leave it down below and like always I make a video whenever I want so like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later bye